Good evening, folks. And today we're going to talk about a thing called what is going on with Joe Biden. I mean, Joe Biden is literally confused. So many gaffes. Things he says that he doesn't even seem to understand what goes on around him. I mean, the guy's literally... The guy's literally lost out there. I mean, if those of you who watch the debate debacle... He's literally falling off the pools. The Democrats are literally in a civil war right now with one another. Half the Democrats want them out. The other half want them in. Right now, rumor has it that... The Democrat National Convention, which is, I think... August, sometime in August, which will be held in Chicago, Illinois, is going to be like a open convention. Now, an open convention is like when all the delegates... I can't remember when the, if there was ever an open convention ever done, but an open convention is technically where... You literally have to have, like, I think it has to be, like, fourteen or 1,500 delegates to secure your spot for that. To secure your spot for the presidency run. If there's no one really running as elected president. Now, for this situation, the Republican National Convention is next week up in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So, President Trump will be there. I mean, former President Donald Trump will be there and he'll get all his delegates, most likely. All the delegates that he needs to get. The 1,500 that he needs. I can't remember the number, but I'm just going to say 1,500. He just needs the 1,500 that he needs. 1,500 delegates, all the 1,500 that he gets. And then he'll be on his way to being the Republican candidate for the presidential candidate. Now... As of Joe Biden's situation, an open convention is one of those where you have 1,500 votes, 1,500 delegates to be cast, but they can throw, they can vote for some other candidate. They don't have to vote for Joe Biden. They can say, I don't want to vote for Joe Biden. I want to vote for some other candidate. So then the question is, now the Democrats are scrambling with this other candidate because now that they wasted all their time voting for this candidate, now you got, let's see, August, September, October. You got three months. For sign language, this is three. You got three months to have... You got three months to have either another debate or with Donald Trump or you have three months to... To either, like, find other electors to get ready for war with Joe Biden. But Joe Biden made it predominantly clear he is not stepping down. But Nancy Pelosi made it perfectly clear she supports Joe Biden in all sorts. And other people who are diehard Democrats said that, like, Joy Reid. Oh, God, I can't stand that witch. Every time she talks, she always gives me a hard headache. She says that she will support anyone... Other than Hitler, calling Trump Hitler. I mean, literally, that's what she calls him, Hitler. She says, if he gets elected, we're, it's the death to America. Which, if it was, if he would have got elected the first time, it would have ended then. But, you need the Senate and the House to do that. So, why didn't that happen then? I guess is my question. So, if you can ask yourself, why are we not in a dictatorship, un why weren't we under a dictatorship under President Trump? Maybe you should try to figure that part out yourself. Now, as of the situation we are in right now, Joe Biden, with the open convention happening with the Democrats, it could easily happen. I mean... All they gotta do is like throw their support in for Kamala Harris instead of Biden, or throw their support in for Gavin Newsom, or aka Gavin Newsom, but I call him Newsom because I can't stand that clown. 
But, I mean, they can throw their support in for literally anybody they literally want to throw their support in for if they're the Dem- for the Democrats. But, seems like right now that Joe Biden's not backing down. Now, the only way they could possibly do that is at the Democratic National Convention. Hold an open convention. Just say, hey, we're sending it one way. His cognitive decline has showed significant. I mean... He literally didn't know who's on stage or where he is half the time. I mean, heck, the doctor openly said, a Democrat doctor openly openly diagnosed him up on stage that he has Parkinson's. I mean, literally, he said it himself. He has Parkinson's. And then he said, he said to an open discussion that he suggests that Trump and Biden both take a four-hour cognitive test. So what's that telling you? Four hours. Then maybe we would both be, maybe America, both the American public and, maybe both the American public and the world will feel more safer. But Biden doesn't want to. His press secretary is so hardcore saying that, that he takes a cognitive test every day. Jean Prong-Pierre, or whatever her, bloody name is. I can't stand that witch. Oh, she makes me sick. Anytime she opens her mouth, AOC, adolescent on cocaine, also what I call her, Alex, also known as Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, but I call her Al- adolescent on cocaine. Anyway, she also is needs a reality check. Because when she gets whenever she, when she didn't get her way she wants to impeach all the conservative justices, like Thomas, Justice Thomas, Clarence Thomas, she wants to impeach. She filed for articles of impeachment against just, Justice Thomas. You see, this is what the their plan is. They want to get rid of everybody. I'm like, for real? Get over yourself, woman. And I mean, like, you see, they had their way with them back in a while back ago. When Trump was in office, I mean, literally, if only it benefits the Democrats, it's okay. But if it doesn't benefit the benefit the Democrats, then it's a problem. That's what I see here. As long as it benefits the Democrats, it's fine. But if it doesn't benefit the Democrats, then it's not okay. They said, respect the verdict. You better respect the verdict. Okay, the 34, Donald Trump was charged with 34 felony counts. She was okay with that. Now, President Trump gets so-called immunity. She has an issue with that. Okay, who's the one with the real issue here? You can't get everything your way, you you self-entitled piece of shit. Get over yourself. Act, grow a pair. This is what your problem is. You want you want only one party rule is all you are about. Not a two party rule. A one party rule. That's what you Democrats are all about. Actually, wait a minute. I got a better idea. Let's quit acting like Democrats and Republicans and start acting like Americans. At least that's how I personally feel. If it was up to me, I'd have a reform party, meaning get rid of both Republicans and Democrats, and just start our own party. There wouldn't be anything such as Republicans or Democrats. So right now, I feel like whoever gets elected, regardless if Biden wins or if Trump wins, it's going to be a civil war all over again. Well, I got some things I got to take care of. With that being said, I'm out of here. Peace.